prioritization screen, resources. So from my home ribbon, we'll go to prioritization. And at the bottom, you've noticed I've selected the resources tab. So again, you have your overview, you have your technician view, and resources. So what is a resource? You do have the capability in the system of entering in your bays, if you wish. So here I have all these specialty bays plus my service bays. Now you can use resources for anything. Basically what you're doing is just assigning that work order to that particular resource. Now some people will even put service advisors in as resources and that way they can assign the jobs to the service advisors and they can follow it along here just like a technician view. So how do we actually enter these resources? The resources come from the home ribbon. You go to setup. And in here, you will find a section under the setup called resources. So here we've uh, entered all these resources in the system. Now you can add, edit, delete, whatever you want. If you want to rearrange orders, you can just click and drag and rearrange the order of the resources. Once you have them inputted, you just save it and then they will be in the system. So at any time to take a work order and bring it onto a resource or into a resource, all you have to do is simply click it. Notice I get a little blue box around it. I can click again and drag. I want to click and drag. So if I want to go put this over in my inspection bay, it'll ask me what time do I want to do it. You can pick whatever time you want. You can even pick whatever day you want. So let's say we're going to put it in here for 3.30. Here's how much time we're booking into that bay. And here's the date. Now, if I happen to get the wrong resource, I can always open it up and change it. Once you select OK, it's ready to go. Now, you can have multiple work orders in a bay. Let's just take one more here and put another one in. Now, I'm going to right click i can do a quick edit and edit here so what does that mean i want to open the work order or a quick edit is just entering this information here or changing it or updating it so i'm going to click drag and let's go put another one in this bay so what time do i want to put it in the bay so right now he's booked for three and a half hours 3.4 hours booked until 6 354 to 6 is wide open so I can sit here and book this in let's just say at 4 for half an hour so this one's booked in already we have a slight break here and then at 4 o'clock the next one is booked in and you can just do this over and over Now, if I want to go actually look at a work order, let's go open this up. Whoops, can't do it from here, can I? I just double click. If I right click, can't do it. If I click on it and go up here and hit edit, I can edit that. So you cannot open it from here quite easily. In order to open this up, I have to go over to the left panel to the active work orders double click it there or do an edit there. Now I can go into the work order. So if I look on the far right side on the work order, you're going to see resources. So here it's letting you know what bay it's in. Now just because I open this up doesn't mean I have to close it to go back. I can always go back and open up anything else. So if I want to go open another one, I can do that. Again, all I'm doing is double clicking. Now that double clicking 
is the same as me right clicking and doing the edit. So resources again can be utilized to track jobs in the bays. You can book them in, you can have specific time slots, or you could maybe program in your service advisors and line them up by service advisor also. And that is resources.